Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is my version of Chicken a la King. I love Chicken a la King, and I know a lot of people out there have fixed it so many different ways. So I'm going to fix it my way. You know, always fix it something my way. First of all, I got in this pan is some olive oil and mushrooms. I'm sauteing the mushrooms down to a soft, soft sisasi so it won't be so tough in the chicken a la king. What I'm going to do now is add some onion and celery. I like celery, but I'm not going to put in the bell pepper in this dish. I don't like bell pepper in every dish I fix. I do fix bell pepper in a lot of dishes, but this dish does not have any bell pepper in this dish. So what I'm doing is sauteing the onions and the celery together with the mushrooms. I'm going to add some garlic. You know, I always use garlic. And garlic is one of my staples I like to use around the house. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of garlic. Two teaspoons, excuse me, of garlic. And I'm going to saute this a little bit more. Chicken all the tea, I served that in my restaurant in California, and it was so good. Every Thursday, I would have a different item on the menu, and chicken all the king was one of the items. Okay, we're going to get all this incorporated like this to garlic. Now, I got salt and pepper already on the um, mushroom. So what I'm going to add now is just a little of thyme. We're going to put some thyme in this. I pronounce it wrong, but people in New Orleans know how to pronounce it right. Better than me. But it's, it's thyme. And I'm going to use to put in this dish just a little. Not a lot. Just a little. Let's give it a little unusual taste. That's thyme. I like thyme in a lot of dishes. So it's thyme. This is what I use. Okay? So this is sauteing real good. Now, it has a cream to this dish. And I know I use my sauce. Now my sauce is a sauce that's very, what you call, you can use it in different dishes. So I'm going to use this sauce. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. I'm going to use this sauce in this dish here. Okay, what I'm going to do is chop some of these mushrooms up like this. Now this is getting the way we want it. Look at that. A chicken olive king is a wonderful dish. You can serve it with a, on a potatoes, rice, toast, anything you want to serve it on. But I'm gonna serve mine on these biscuits. I call these cathead biscuits. This is what they're called. And I'm gonna tell you what. I use this quick buttermilk biscuits to fix this. This is one package and I make two cat head biscuits with this. And on top I put an egg wash to make them so golden brown. This is what we're going to use for our uh, chicken olive king. So get the biscuits. They're not paying me. I just want to let you know what's good to take. Okay, what to use. Okay, what we're going to do now is turn this down a little bit and we're going to use some of my sauce. Take this off. The sauce that I use for my dishes, we're going to add it to this here. Just like this. This is a sauce that I show you how to use. To add a little water to it and get it kind of creamy. Just a little water. This is the sauce I was telling you how to use. 
you know this sauce goes in a lot of dishes and it does fantastic with the chicken a la king so i have a recipe for the link of my sauce on the video so you can uh go to the site and get it add a little bit more water to it very economical okay now you can add water a little bit more water because it's a little thick the mushrooms is in there and the flavor is in there too the flavor is in this chicken a la king we're going to put a little bit more water in this a la king this was a I think this is an old french dish or something that they came up with a long time ago not sure but I'll get the history on it this is a good dish look at that this already coming into a good good situation here look at that i love to cook and i love to experiment with a lot of things let's test this oh that is fabulous that is fabulous 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 oh that tastes so good that tastes good okay we're gonna let this come to a ball now in this dish we have celery onion, garlic, and mushrooms. And then that sauce, I'll show you how to make. Okay? Mmm, that is so good. Now we're going to put some peas, green peas, and some carrots in this dish. Yes, I'm going to put that in there. Cut this down a little bit. <clears throat> now I already warm my peas up in the microwave in the bag. So I'm adding the peas to it. As many as you want. In the dish of the chicken a la king. As many as you want. This tastes and smells so good, y'all. If you want more carrots and peas, you can add more carrots and peas. Just a little bit more. i say this for another dish. Okay, we got this all incorporated. Like so. All done. Taste it. Mmm, that's so good. That is delicious. Make me wanna see. Oh, it's so good. Okay, what we're doing now is letting that cooperate with the um, carrots and the peas. Okay, and what we're gonna come over here and do a little trick. Mm. I'm going to put chicken and fried potatoes in mine. This is chicken. And I'm going to shred the chicken a little bit. Because chicken is going to be a little shred in pieces just like that. Just a little pieces of chicken. And it's a king. Just shred it a little bit like that. Make it even. Now at this point, you can put any spice you want in your dish. That's what cooking is all about. Is what you want. Now I want to make a correction. I have a, uh, one of my subscribers named Cook with Nancy. We did the... Um, crab cakes and I was had her name wrong I had cooking with Nancy so we changed it to cook with Nancy and she has a wonderful site her site is so wonderful great recipes and everything okay now you see how thick that look now we're gonna add the potatoes and the juice now you can serve this with potatoes you know mashed potatoes or rice or whatever but i put the potatoes into the chicken all king so it can um be incorporated with the potatoes and you can eat it with the biscuit okay this is almost ready now i'm gonna plate it up and let's see what it look like chicken all king is served 
for a king. Hey, that's my rice. Okay, this is all incorporated. Now I'm gonna get one of these cat head biscuits. Now you know what a cat head biscuit is. This is it right here. So what I'm gonna do is cut it in the middle like this. Get it in the middle. Look at that bread. Ain't that biscuit? Oh, that biscuit is right. Okay, cut it in the middle. Put this to the side. And I'm gonna plate up chicken olive king on top of the biscuit like that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. And then I'm gonna put this on top like that. And put a little bit more gravy on there. Okay. This is Sandra. This is my version of Chicken Olive King. The soul food way, I guess. With potatoes and chicken and mushrooms, green peas, and uh, carrots and potatoes. This is a great dish. Quick dish. And I want you to try it. This is Sandra. I want to tell you Happy eating and try this easy chicken olive king. This is Sandra. Happy eating.